Today I will be talking about books coming out in August that are underhyped. I have been trying to make new book release videos and I believe this is the new format that I am settling on. So I will be talking about five underhyped books that are coming out in August and I will also be making another video talking about five very hyped books that are coming out in August. I have over 30 books on my radar, 30 fantasy books that are coming out in August. If you want to see the full list, I have them in my Discord, which I will have linked in the description. And with that, let's get into the underhyped new fantasy releases of August. I will be starting with a honorable mention because whenever I was looking at the shelving data on Goodreads, which is how I'm determining what's hyped or not. Whenever I was looking at how many people shelved books on Goodreads, I was really surprised that this author didn't have more people shelving her books, that she was this far down on the list. And that's because I thought more people were aware of this author or, you know, reading her books. So I will talk about She Who Knows, which is my honorable mention and then I will get into the five least hyped books of August. She Who Knows follows a girl whose village receives an annual call to go to the salt mines and this call is always only heard by the men and boys of the village but she hears the call this year and she has to face the consequences of going against a cultural norm while also discovering and learning how to use her magical ability. I also have these books in order from, I guess most hyped to least hyped, all, but all of these are very underhyped books on this list. So the next one I am getting into is Time's Agent. This is the book of the five that have the most people shoving it on Goodreads. In this book, we follow a disgraced archeologist whose spouse has decided to live in a pocket world, which is a universe or world that can fit in a pocket or a pendant or a necklace. And they have a daughter whose consciousness is now in a robotic dog. Our disgraced archeologist finds a new pocket world that might hold the key to recovering her career and also repairing her marriage. The next book I have on my list, The Last Shield, sounds like a fantasy adventure book and it is pitched as Die Hard set in a castle. In this book, we are following the Commander of Shields on the night of a sacred ritual in the kingdom. This is a kingdom that is in extreme political turmoil and the royal family has had assassination attempts in the past. So we are following our guard as she is set to protect the palace during the night of this ritual against all odds and to the death. The next book I have on my list, Sunforge, is the second book in a series. This is called the End Song series. In this book, we are following three characters as their city is on the brink of destruction. It is being fought over by an age old war between the gods and our three characters are trying to do everything they can to prevent their city from annihilation. The next book I have on my list, A Darkness Returns, I am super surprised that it is this far down on the list. This is like the second least hyped book on my list and it's from a very popular author. This is a start of a new series by this author but it is set in the previous world that this author has written in. In this book we are following characters as they are on an island trying to investigate corruption, but evil forces are trying to take over their home worlds while they are gone. This book is a combination of both a Fire Mage saga and the Rift War saga. It's a continuation from both of those stories. And finally, the most least hyped book on my list. 
This book has so few people shelving it on Goodreads and I'm honestly quite surprised because it sounds like a fun time. This is The Wind That Sweeps the Stars. In this book, we are following a character who agrees to marry the prince because she wants to get close to the royal family and assassinate all of them. She does not want the royal family taking over her homeland, so she makes a agreement so that way she can destroy them. It's also a standalone fantasy as far as I can tell, and I am here for more standalone fantasies. So let me know in the comments which of these sounds the most interesting to you and what other August book releases you are looking forward to. And I hope to see you in another video. Happy reading!